Hi guys, welcome, welcome. I am going to uh, scroll through my Pinterest board and um, find something to draw today. I don't know what I feel like doing. We'll just just give not Christmas. Uh, shall we do something? Shall we do something on a grid? Let's do something on a grid. But we're gonna then make a wonky grid. So let's do that. So let's do this one, king stock, which looks like it's pretty simple. We're going to draw our grid. Um, <coughs> looks like we're gonna do a, like a scroll around half and then do the mirror image on that half. And then we're gonna go here, make a smaller one and then a little, uh, whatever that is. So this little line kind of gives us a halfway point. And then that's what it looks like when they're all hooked together. Or if you, we want to do a variation where we do some of them. Ugh. Come on. No, no. Yeah, you can't quite see it. There there where we do like every other square i kind of like that because this is kind of a lot i kind of like this so let's do something like this um but on a wonky grid i saw the wonkiest of wonky grids the other day i saw an artist i don't know the name of the artist and i apologize for not knowing the name of the artist but i saw it on my Facebook reels I think I don't know I saw it somewhere where somebody drew a photo um, and you know how you use a grid to copy a photo you put the lines on the on the what you're copying and then put the lines on the paper you're drawing and then you use that grid to help you with proportions well they did the picture on a wonky grid and it was really kind of cool. I kind of, I, I really liked it. It was weird. It came out really weird. It was, if you're looking it up, it was, um, I saw it on YouTube. I think might have been pushed on a Facebook one. I don't know. Um, but it was an artist doing Wednesday Adams on a wonky grid. Really cool. So I'm going to draw a wonky grid here. Um, I'm going to start, I'm go diagonally. I'm going to be really wonky with it. Usually I follow, like once I make a, a wonky line, I usually follow that line. But look at how I'm really going quite different. Each, each of these lines is completely different than the previous one. They're not really following at all. And I'm just kind of just kind of going for it here. Where they all go somewhere else. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a border now that I've drawn my lines so that I wasn't affected by my border when I drew the lines. I'll put the border in just like that. Okay. Now I have some place to put this pattern. So I'm going to start in the middle with the pattern that we have and I'm going to work outward and remembering to do every other square. Okay. Let's do it with a number five. I'm going to do, they're going to go this way. So my first step is to do a scroll. Let's, let's do like the C shape first. do 
the smaller one in here. And a peak like that. Now every other one gets one of these. So this one is here, so it's going to go here. This is going to be really skinny. Let's do this C shape. I did that backwards. Because we're supposed to go back to back, not front to front. What the heck? Well, that's a new shape. <sighs> Done. He did a new shape. That wasn't right. <sighs> okay, how are we going to fix this? Because that wasn't right. Um, okay, so that's A. All right, so we're going to call that pattern B, and then I'm going to put an A here and a B there, and we'll call it a call it a pattern. Holy guacamole, Don! Okay. So weird. I did such a weird thing. What the heck did I do? This is not even right. But you know what? Sometimes life just doesn't go your way, and you just have to deal. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just dealing with whatever comes my way. Okay, 
this one is supposed to be this one, which is the pattern we're supposed to be doing. This was probably not the best pattern to do a wonky grid with. Perhaps I'll do another one. Maybe I'll do another one on Friday with a wonky grid and we'll try a different pattern that maybe makes a little more sense. This is a kind of a weird pattern to even try this with, but what the heck. I forgot the little triangle thing. Triangle thing. Like that. Kind of like a butterfly. I'm going to do this one. This is just going to look weird. I am not particularly pleased with this one, I must say. <laughs> oh, I haven't had this big of a fail in a really long time. It's okay. You gotta go with it, right? You, you just gotta laugh. You gotta, you gotta just live with what happens. And you gotta be okay with some of the things that aren't the way you expect them to be. I liked my grid, but I really don't like this pattern. <laughs> oh, could I could I just not publish this and go on to the next thing and you guys would never know that this even happened? I could. But that's that's contrary to my personal philosophy on this channel. So I'm just just going to embrace it. My personal philosophy on this channel is just it is what it is. The art is what the art wants to be. And Sometimes it is not what you expect, and this is definitely one of those times. It's not what I expect. It's completely contrary to what I wanted to happen here. that I can make these tie in better. I don't know. I don't know. And then these ones had this pattern. Like that. In the middle.
it making it better? It actually is. That's helping. That's helping a lot. So I'm good with that. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it is helping. hungry. Why am I hungry? What time is it? What time is it? Oh, it's 12.30. It's lunch time. No wonder I'm hungry. Yeah, we may, we may chalk this one up as a fail, but like I said, I could totally be untruthful and just not publish this and, and, and throw it away and you would never know it even happened. But you know what, that's not, that's not what art and art life is. Art life is, is, is weird, goofy mistakes and things that don't go the way you plan. And And life is not perfect and Instagram worthy. You know, there are parts of your life that are just messy, like this. Um, that you don't want to share with people. The things in your life that, that you go, oh my God, if anybody knew about this, this is embarrassing. Okay? Well, This is an embarrassing day in my art journey. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you because perfection is not the goal. Learning is the goal. Trying things out is the goal. Perfectionism is not the goal. And was I absolutely thrilled with last uh, yesterday's or last the last drawing that I did? Absolutely. The one I did for Monday, I was absolutely thrilled with it. Am I thrilled with this one? Heck no. I am completely not liking this. But we are going to make it work. It's a make it work moment. Like, uh, what, 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 what's the... The TV show that will make it work. Uh, uh, project Runway. It's a Project Runway moment. I'm going to take what I've got and I'm going to make it work. We're going to fix it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is I think I'm going to erase. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to erase and give it a. It, it's. Give it its moment in the sun here and see what I can do to enhance this pattern. We're going to step back, look at it from afar, and think. What does it need? It's color. And I am going to do something weird here. I am going to get out a Posca pen in this weird turquoise color. Have I used this color before? No, I have not. Let's. You know how to 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 start a Posca pen, right? You gotta depress that, let some of the air out. That helps. You do it right side up like that. And then just on a scrap piece of paper, just push until the ink starts flowing. 
Make sure you've got it well shook up. That's what the little ball bearing in there is for to shake up the paint. And look, there it is. Didn't take long. And I am going to I'm going to make the border. I'm going to put this color inside here and I'm going to have to go back on with that pen and I, I got a little carried away there. Let's see, inside of here. missing some pen spots. I'm going to come back with my pen and fix those spots. And this Posca marker and this paper don't get along. Good to know. But I like the color. So we're going to just keep it and embrace it. This is not the paper for a Posca marker. Isn't that good to know? This is not the paper for a Posca marker. I like this color though. I'm going to embrace this other shape. that the focal point and make all these swirly bits sort of just extra. Should go here. There should be a triangle there. like so. It's getting better. It's making me happier. The color, this pop of color is making me happier. Is it a, a good tangle pattern? I don't know because I don't think the uh, wonky grid did it any good whatsoever. I'll have to try this pattern again on a on a different day. It's getting better though. I I am getting to the point where I'm not completely unhappy with it. I think I might get out my white pen. to embrace a disaster. That is this video. This needs something, it needs whatever that is inside. Looks funny. We'll have to get my pen out again. Okay, so 
so was it this pen? Is this the one I was using? I think so. So this one comes over here and here and here. So that needs I need a black outline. This needs like that. And this needs should be that and this one needs that and this one needs I'm not sure which Something like that. Okay, and this one needs to be that. And there should be an arm there, and there should be an arm there. Something like that. Big bold black outside. I'm going to actually use my big, my biggest black Posca pen. I want a really fat border. Better. Better. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is it what I had in mind? Absolutely not. Did I fix it? I think I did. Now it looks like some sort of vintage Picasso-esque something. A, a, a very impressionistic. I've, I've created an impressionistic uh, pattern of whatever this is. I don't know. Where's my pen? What was the name of this pattern? I didn't write it down yet. It's called King Slock. Just gonna sign it, and that needs more ink. That one needs more ink. All right. Well, that is what it is. And um, did I did I fix it? Did I make it worse? I like it much better than it was when I first started. So I'm gonna call that a win. Yeah, I'm just going to call that a win. 
I'm, I'm not super happy with it, but I'm no longer horrified by it. Ah, and it is what it is. You know what? Life, life is messy. And it's not always what you think it's going to be. And it's not, it's not perfect. And you got to embrace it because you can't just throw away your life. You can't just take this and say, I didn't like it. I'm just going to chuck it. No, no. Because there are, there are times in your life that you don't have the, that's not an option. There are times in the life in life where it is an option where you can just, uh, oh no, this isn't working. I'm gonna just start over. It's okay. We're just gonna do something else, and that's fine. But there are some times in life where you don't have the chance to. There's no do-overs. You just have to live with what has happened, and make the best of it. And I think this is a good lesson, and it's much easier to do that lesson in a piece of art than in real life. But it is a lesson that we all need to to just grapple with and learn. And, um, you know, it's okay. You know, there are some days, like I said, there are some days where I could have just said, forget it, I'm just, I'm not even going to put this out. I'm going to just stop and I'm not going to make this as a video. But something inside me said, that this is a lesson that I need to learn and I need to push through. It's something that I need to learn and maybe it'll help one of you guys too. So it's messy. It's not perfect. But it's so much better than it was when I first started. And that's the important part. Embrace the imperfection, people. And I will see you on the next video. Uh, and the next one will be the last one of the month of March. Can you believe that? Last video of March. Let's see if we can get that done today before I go have lunch. I'm hungry. Motivation. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.